let's just start with like, what were you always? What what is most likely to be on a channel like on one of your channel strips? Okay. Like, any other one? like what is your go to? Like you just slap it on straight away. You already like you already just know it's going to be there. On anyone or, or or on a specific. On a specific. I mean, I've got one plug in particular I use on almost every bus, and and most channels. Okay. Um, yeah. On on a channel, the most likely to be on there. It depends if I in production, uh, if I'm producing, it would probably be, and this is going to be very telling of my style, uh, one knob filter. Oh really? Yeah, waves one knob filter is um, the most is probably the most likely plugin. There's a few that kind of fit that that realm, but if we're talking, um, if I'm talking mixing like a band or something like that. Hmm. Uh, virtual mix rack by Slate, which oh, is yeah. I haven't got the Slate stuff. Yeah, that's like I'm I'm hard on the Slate stuff, um, but that is yeah. that is probably either that or the SSL channel strip from Waves is are my go to mm-hmm. for um, EQ and compression. But yeah. I mean, there's so much in the VMR. So what the what the virtual mix rack is from. Um, from slate it's a it's kind of like a 500 series rack almost like but a digital one and you can um just plug a whole bunch of different stuff in so they've got like neve style eqs they've got like uh ssl style eqs they got 1176s they've got uh saturators pretty much everything you can think of in terms of mixing and um, saturation is available in there so it's it's a bit of a cheat one but you know i like it yeah hell yeah what about you filter mine is like ever since i bought it the waves sheps omni channel i froth that yeah again so much i mean that that's another cheap one everything i want it's got so much stuff on it i love it man it's like i can can get the sound quickly without having to pull up five or six plugins that's why i like the the vmr as well and it saves so much processing power for me. Oh, really? Oh, well. like, I would have thought yeah, that yeah. that one would Just have been using... quite heavy on it, on the processing. Well, it probably is, but the, it's like the equivalent of using six or seven plugins. Yeah. Hmm. So it's like, like the saturator is like, I love that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> reading Brad's comment. Well, I, I like. You did strike me as a one up guy. <laughs> I. I, I think he's I don't think he's taking the piss. I don't <laughs> I am I really like the one knob uh the one knob series from Waves. But I that's a whole yeah. other thing I'll, that I'll, I'll get into later. Um mm-hmm. like but I'll talk about that when it comes. But yes, I am a one knob kind of guy. Um, <laughs> so um yeah, so the I'm just going to talk about the Omni channel for a second. Yeah, tell it's, us what's in there. It's basically a giant channel strip. Mm-hmm. So it has saturation, and it has three stages of saturation. Oh wow! Um, so it's kind of just like a, a low, medium, and high type kind of thing. Or they're, diff- they're different flavors of saturation, which mm-hmm. work diff- better on different instruments or whatever. And then it's got um, it's got EQ, which can be mid side. Oh wow, that's or cool. Or stereo or dual mono. Yeah, which most EQs are. Um, it's got two DSs built into it. And it's got a compressor built into it, which also has three different styles. So you've got your FET compressor, yeah. uh, is it VCA compressor, and what's the other one? I've forgotten the other one. Omni. Um, no, opto? Opti? Opto. Fuck, oh, yeah. Well, well. <laughs> That's it. Opto. Uh, Omni? It's got those three. And the really cool thing is about, um, about those that compressor function mm. is you can flick through the different kinds without having to actually change any of your gains or, or your thresholds oh, or anything like that. Really? You That's can cool. actually hear the different characteristics of the different compressors by just clicking a few buttons. That's you don't have to cool. change any of your settings. Whereas like if you're trying to like do a, a B's on compressors, like bypassing plugins in a channel strip, yeah. it's a bit harder cause you've got to match everything. Yeah. True. Um, but it's got, yeah, it's got that, uh, the compressor as well. It's got a limiter built into it. 
and it also has the ability to use wave plugins as inserts. Oh, really? Well. Yeah. As oh, inserts. and the whole thing's modular, so you can move anything you want anywhere. With the EQ, you only get one. You said you get two two DSs. You only get one compressor, one limiter, and you kind of just choose which one you want to use. In there. I mean, that's more than like what you you'd want to use anyway. Like, yeah, you you wouldn't really want to be stacking up those kind of compressors. Mm. Yeah, I mean, you might, but um, the other the other really cool thing is is um the presets are also really good. Oh yeah, it's like it gets you in a good place really fast. Yeah, which is really cool. So you can just so like even if you don't know what the fuck you're doing. You can just go in and go presets, vocal, and it, it will sound okay. Yeah, okay. And then you can just tweak it from there. Yeah. I'm a big fan of uh, some presets. Some, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, if I've they're never good, really they're good. used presets until, until the Omni channel. Oh, really? Honest. So yeah. the flavor of it, would you say it's quite colored or is it uh, like fairly neutral sounding plugin? I mean, obviously, the saturation is going to have some color in it, but like the EQ yeah. and the compression. Yeah, it's got its own flavor to it, but it's emulating the classics, you know. Yeah. Okay. Do you know what it's what the EQ is emulating? If anything, uh, not off the top of my head. Yeah. It's probably, I think it's an SSL. Ah, oh, yeah. Classic style. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But like all it, it's got like. A few different like buttons inside of that too, which also emulate different things. Yeah, okay. Like you've got your touch filter, your, like your high pass filter, and all that kind of stuff. You know, like everyone has its own characteristic and it emulates a certain kind of EQ. Yeah. But yeah. Ah, but yeah it's nice. Really cool. It's like yeah, I use I use the shit out of that. Use the shit out of it. Yeah, that's man, sick. I love it. So that that's your go to, that's your go to channel strip, I guess. <laughs> I would say mine. Yeah, I should. I should say that like I use that for flavor. Obviously, I don't use that for fixing stuff. Really. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like your, your standard, like standard go to. Like that would be the the it's sound the of strip I go for of you. Yeah. Of your mix would be that one, whereas if you were fixing yeah, stuff, you would probably use something more like the Pro Q two. Yes. <laughs> that's right shall we shall we dive in oh <laughs> I, I mean it's a bit of a subject um Ooh, yeah. yeah well I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna finish that bit up saying yeah so yeah. If, if you're going with the sheps i'd go with the uh i'd go the slate fairly similar but completely different in functionality yeah. but um, i think they both do a fairly good job of just like getting the job done getting you know the flavors that you want in there quickly and all that kind of stuff i do yeah definitely. i do tend to go to the ssl channel quite a bit as well um the waves one what i can't yeah. remember what it's called the ssl g or whatever it is um yeah i think that's just a really nice quick wave um just getting some flavor in there mm -hmm. um and so i i do chuck that on quite a bit as well I haven't used that in a long time, actually. I mm. think of it. I use the, I use the uh, SSL bus compressor a lot. But I oh don't yeah. Use just the channel strip, the SSL channel strip. That thing's a classic. I don't have that. It's a classic. The um the bus compressor. Yeah. Oh yeah. But I do have a version of oh, um. It's so good. It's so creamy. Uh, uh, the slate's got a version of the bus compressor, uh, which is quite good as well. Yeah. You share some screenshots of these plugins without killing the screen. Yeah, I reckon. Do you do you want to um, do you want to take care of uh, of doing that because I've got both my screens being used for my stream. I'm yeah, that's cool. I'm screening for um, streaming. So we'll go. Uh, what, what? Which plugin should I bring up at the moment? Um, maybe. Maybe Chuck the um. The Shep's one, like kind of give it give an idea of um of what the like what the Shep's layout looks like. Yep. Also, I know we're going to talk about this eventually, so I'll bring that up. Hell yeah! I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I know what you're Just talking about. Um. All right. Wait. Yeah. So this is the Shep's Omni Channel. 
that I was oh, yeah, talking I about. Um, it's got a couple more features that I like forgot to mention. Yeah. Um, but you can side chain most things like the, the um, you can side chain the DSs and the compressors. It's got a oh, gate yeah. as well and an expander. Uh, but what I use the most is the saturation. Yeah. I mainly use the odd setting. Yeah. And okay. I pretty much almost put that on everything because it just like. Yeah, just a little something bit of it, does, it just warms everything up. It fills everything out a bit. Yeah. Um, it's, it's amazing. It's one of the best saturators I've ever had. Um, I use the the filters quite a bit as well. It's really quick to to you know just filter out the shit I don't need. Yeah. Thump is kind of cool. It just like boosts the low end around like the hundred hertz ish. Oh yeah. Which is not not too bad. It's uh, yeah another quick way of getting something sounding better. Yep. I don't generally use that. I like to fine tune stuff. Yeah. Um, the EQ is really cool. Um, by the way, you can see these little window buttons up here. Yeah. You can double click those and it opens that one strip, like the EQ to full screen. Oh, okay. So, so you, you can, can like uh, really so get you can into get it. Stereo and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, really cool. Yeah. And you can kind of, yeah, it's just, ah, oh, it's mad. That I does look sick. I, I should buy that one. Yeah. Although and I've you got can, too like, much stuff. You can grab these and yeah, they're all modular. Yeah. So you can put the compressor first or the EQ or whatever. Uh, and then you can insert wave plugins over here uh, or anywhere in your chain that you want it. But, That's um, insane. I don't really use that. I'd rather just chuck the, the plugin on my channel strip. Yeah. In, so, in so you store. can see it. Yeah. But you can do it here. I mean, that would be cool for maybe live use. Yeah, true. Could be maybe worth it. But um, yeah, that's that's the that's the Sheps. Mm. Um, or if you wanted to create mm -hmm. like a um, uh, a preset that has like all these plugins, including the your extra waves ones, that was just like that's your preset for that, and you bring that mm -hmm. up when you you know on you know whatever channel like vocals or whatever, yeah, and it brings all of that shit yeah, exactly. in together. Yeah, exactly. And I've got one of the, I've got that exact thing set up on my vocal chain Hell as yeah. well. I've got one of these ready to go always. That's cool. Um, what about the, what the? That ain't the right. Here we go. Here uh, we go. So we're talking one knob. So I actually only one knob. I only have two of these, but I use both of them quite a bit. Um, the first one being the filter. Um. Yeah, that bad boy. And the pictures are a bit big, mate. Yeah, it's huge. Um, <laughs> Let me try and do a bit of sorcery here. Here we go. Um, I mean, you don't really. There's not much to it. All it's got is one knob, and actually, it it also has that bottom down the button down the bottom uh, resonance, uh, which you can change yeah, yeah. the level of of your resonant frequency, which is pretty cool. Um, mm -hmm. But man. If if you just want to like bring up something, rip out the high end, and make it sound kind of like more lo-fi, that yeah. plugin, it ends up on so many of my tracks. I just, I, I I'm a pretty. It's cool. I like darker sounds, so I, I end up using a lot of uh, filtering. But yeah, um, mm -hmm. that one's good. It looks nice as well. Like it's a nice looking. Yeah. Um, plugin. It's just quick. Um, one thing. Uh, one thing I like about a plugin is how quick you can get it to sound the way you want it to sound, and that one obviously is uh, is there for that purpose. Uh, the other yep. one of the series which I have, which I use quite a bit, is the One Knob Driver, which is oh, yes. that guy. Um, same deal. That's cool. Just One Knob, just brings up some distortion. Cool thing about that um, that plugin is it. Um, with the when it brings up the distortion, it kind of sucks down the the high and the low, so you get a little bit of filtering in there as well. And I end up, yeah. funnily enough, using that on kick drums, um, just a little bit uh, when they're like a big subby, fat low end kick drum, just to bring up the mid range a little bit without um, changing the overall EQ curve too much. It's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Cool. Really cool set of plugins. 